Hi, my name is Dexter. Can I ask you guys, first of all, a question? Do any of you know somebody who has a neuromuscular condition like ALS, MS, Parkinson's? It's actually, these are very terrible conditions for ALS, for example. My mother had ALS, that's, I was her primary caregiver, and I took care of her, and one of the problems I saw was that um, all of the person's voluntary muscles would go away, so they lose the ability to speak and to be able to move. So I came back to MIT, I work with MIT professors to create the first new technology, an alternative interface to be able to um, control a computer uh, fully using no motion or ability to speak at all. Um, so so let me show you, we were invited to the ALS International Conference where we tested our device on a lot of people. Here is uh, Hiroki, he is um, president of ALS Association in Japan. He actually has no ability to move at all. We tested our sensors, our EMG sensors on his body where uh, we put on the back of his calf and he has very progressed. Here's his, actually a picture of his leg. Um, it's all skin and bone and our EMG sensors were the first ones to ever capture a signal off his body. Here's a clear signal off of him thinking about tapping his foot. Um, so we were awarded a top prize at this competition and uh, as word got out about what we're doing, one of the companies that reached out to us was Microsoft Research. They're looking at the future of computing, they're looking at the future of uh, how do you control VR and, and other, other consumer uh, devices. So they actually said they wanted to buy $100,000 of our sensors and they want us to do co-development with them to be the first EMG solution for Microsoft. Um, so this is um, a quote that we had from a manager. He said he was looking for an EMG device exactly like ours for the last two years and that's what we're providing for them. We're excited to work for them as well. At the same time, we're partnering with MGH and Johns Hopkins to be able to do clinical trials correlating EMG strength to actually physical strength. We would provide the first real-time look into a person's central nervous system to provide possibly the biomarker for neuromuscular conditions. Over 200 million people in the world have condition that has no sort of bio-tracking at all. We would provide the first one for that. So uh, we actually, you know, I don't have enough time to demo. We actually have a demo uh, in this corner over here. Happy to show it to anybody at all. And please reach out to us for partnering with our revolutionary technology. Uh, my email is dexter at pisontechnology.com. Thank you.